Power lines are a necessary evil today, and particularly as we move towards a more electrified lifestyle, electric cars and electric gadgets of every kind, power lines are necessary if we want to continue that lifestyle. However, they do emit strong electromagnetic fields, and naturally, the closer you are to them, the more current they carry, the stronger that exposure is going to be. The issue about power lines first hit the press in the late 1970s, early 1980s. Nancy Wertheimer and Ed Leeper were the ones who did the seminal research that's been since repeated around the world. And their conclusions have been verified that if children are exposed to high magnetic fields from electricity, their risk of developing leukemia is increased. I've always had a concern that the towers, the magnetic fields that come from them may be a health hazard because so many of my neighbors have suffered from very serious illnesses. Boys that were in their late 20s and early 30s developing testicular cancer, colon cancer, women in the neighborhood that have had breast cancer. And this side of the street where the towers run behind our homes, the 40 years that I've been here, I know of at least 18 people that have died from cancer. I do believe I was robbed. Both my parents didn't live to see a day over the age of 60. I definitely do believe that these were the cause of both my parents passing away. We are fully 100% dependent on power. Look what happened when the power went out on August 14th, a couple of years ago. There was mayhem. Nobody knew what to do. Nothing worked. The entire grid dropped out. And that was just a precursor of what could really happen. If we don't do anything, if we simply allow this technology to proliferate, which is what seems to be happening, more and more people are going to get sick. Children are going to die. They're already dying from cancers. They're having heart problems in schools. Women are going to have difficulty reproducing. Fertility problems, for example. We're just going to have a population that's chronically ill. That's basically it. And chronic illness will become the norm. I suppose nobody wants that in their backyard, but they've got to be somewhere. So we need to, as a society and as a community, we need to think about how we want to address this. What's done is done, of course, but as we move forward into the future, we need to give some serious thought to what we're going to do with the placement of the main power lines and the smaller, more local distribution lines.